when you're coaching your 5v5 flag football defense, for the most part, you want to stay pretty simple with it. And we're an advocate of playing a lot of man coverage because zone can get to be complicated, particularly with younger players. And typically, you'd have a DB over here covering your widest, probably a DB over here covering the widest, and then maybe a DB type covering the slot, and then uh, somebody covering the center, somebody rushing the quarterback. But every now and then, you need a good changeup for your uh, flag football defense. And we really like this coverage right here as a changeup. Uh, for a couple reasons. One is that you can break it up into parts. So what we're doing here is you're taking your other DB to the right, to the boundary, moving them over to the field, playing a two-man game. The two DBs over here will play either straight-up man coverage on the two receivers to the field, which means you got that cat wherever he goes and you got that one wherever he goes, or some type of bracket coverage to where this DB takes the most inside receiver at the end of it, and this DB takes the most outside. But long story short, you break that down into a two, two versus two game over here. Now, the rest of the three play a little game over here to where they're going to decide who's going to rush the quarterback. Whoever rushes the quarterback obviously rushes the quarterback. Whoever does not is responsible for pushing to one to the boundary. Remember, you have the sideline as an extra defender, and the second person will push uh, to the center. So you've got a couple advantages here. Once um, you want to look at it, you've got like the boundary, not as much turf to cover. You've got the center, who for the most part is not a uh, the most dangerous receiver on a flag football team. And even if they want to throw the ball here to the uh, boundary, you've got a linebacker in the quarterback's face if you're pushing uh, from number two here. But very simple rules. Once again, you either rushing, pushing to one, rushing, pushing to one, or rushing, pushing to two, which will be the center right here. Typically, you want to get the rusher into the quarterback's face to the throwing arm. But we think this is just, once again, a very simple changeup that you can use with your 5v5 flag football defense. And if you get something different or weird, and you might get that, if you get some formation that doesn't make sense, just check to your base. Everybody check back and play man, and you should be good to go.